The relationship between rate of speed, r, distance traveled, d, and time traveled, t, is given by the following equation, r equals d over t. If rate remains constant, which of the following must be true? Let's look at the first one. When t remains constant, d increases. Well, I like to start off by just plugging some arbitrary numbers in there that are easy to work with. So let's start with 4, and that equals 8 over 2. 4 equals 8 over 2. Simple to work with. And let me change colors. And now what this is saying is if this 4 right here is always going to be constant, never changing, then the only things that are going to change are going to be this 8 and this 2. But they always have to equal 4. And so when t remains constant, which is my 2, that's my t, then d increases. Well, if the 4 stays the same and the 2 stays the same, well, the 8 also has to stay the same. So that can't be right. A is out of the question. Now let's look at B. When t decreases, so now there's my t, that, that decreases, d remains constant. So let's go 4 equals 1, that's my t now, and what would this have to be up top? Well, 4. So 4 is my distance, and 4 over 1 equals 4. What happened to that? It went down. It did not remain constant, so it cannot be b. For c, when t decreases, so that's what I did when I went from this 2 to this 1, it decreased. What happened to the top number? the distance, it decreased. So here it's saying decreases, D increases. No, it decreased. So here, C's out, D. When T increases, D decreases. So let's go at time. Let's go this opposite direction. So T increased, goes from 1 to 2. So what happened to the distance? It went from a 4 to an 8. It went up. It did not decrease. So that can't be it. So we're left with E. When T decreases, so when T went from this 2, let's change color again. When T went from this 2 over to a 1, it decreased. And when D went from an 8 to a 4, it decreased. So E is the answer.